the Dillion Creek. Go score my red source. Is he just trying to quarter quarter us? Because if he's trying to quarter quarter us, I shouldn't get the planes. I actually should just get island. If he's trying to quarter and then quarter me again. If he's trying to double quarter me here, it's actually correct to get island. I think he also has a Vidalian click where he wants to go score me again. Alright, so if we verdict here. I don't see any other way around it. Now he could have another angel, and then we're just toast anyway. Oh, he didn't. Jock says no helix. No, I didn't do the helix. Alright, so foundry vents. Kind of like just going like foundry or vents, and then he's like, oh, I'm going to quarter that, and then we maybe consider the Teferi. The fact that he's playing very reactive magic now means his hand is full of uh, reactive stuff, not uh, active. That's likely what is going on over there. I like being proactive. We'll try to stick it to Fairy. He'll counter it. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it'll be fine. Just mana leak it, dude. You have a million of them, or man? Sure. Possibilities. We do have another red source in the deck. Remember, we have another steam vent. Even though we've lost a mountain and one steam vents, I do have another red source in the deck. So possibilities to fairy lock is still plausible. No. Snap remand. Give me something to helix. You want to spell snare? What about the fairy? Weak. Snap doesn't kill us. He's on three. All right, hang on a second. I can cast Endless One as a blocker. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes you have to do it. We, already, we just drew the Emmy as well. Jono says I liked Cryptic there instead. We could have cryptic um, could just cast the endless one as like a 3 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would still give us cryptic. That wouldn't give us dispel though. If we wanted both cryptic and dispel and we just wanted a way to block the snapcaster, we'd go with a, a little itty bitty endless one. Jack says go with a 4 4 endless. Yeah, 4 4 endless is good too. The thing about a 4 4 endless is I'd really like to back it up with both dispel and cryptic. One, two, do we have enough blue to do that? Yes, you do. 1, 2, 3, 4 blue. I think Cryptic and Dispel was better. I think it should just be a 2-2. Or even a 1-1 says I'm a black man. Um, if you make it as a 1-1, then we get to cast Cryptic without worry of 
Sna or Manalik? No, you're still worried about Manalik. 4-4 four, 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 try to kill Restos and pay for leaks, says Jack. Just go for a 6-6 six, six with Dispel. You like 6-6 six, six Endless One? Really? 6-6 six, six Endless One, just back it up with a Dispel. We still die to Endless, uh, Resto Angel. I like not getting too greedy with our Endless One, or just sitting back and hoping to, you know, tap him with Cryptic, tap draw, tap draw and then Dispel. The safest play, actually, hang on, if I want a Cryptic, Dispel, I think the safest play is a 1-1 one, one or 2-2 or two, two Endless One. We'll never block with Resto. He's, I mean, I'm at 2. He's not going to block with Resto. Let's see. Thinking. Um... Well, we know Endless One becomes Karanos. We know that much. If we stick the possibility, we stick the Endless, it does become a Karanos. Resto will kill us in one hit anyway. Broker Bowl says just bounce the Endless One later. Yeah, I like that play. I think a 1 1 or a 2 2 is solid. For just our purposes here, you're right. We can bounce it later. Jax says just make it a 2 2. Now I'm just going to make it a 1 1. We can bounce it. This says I have more. I'm representing more spells than just Dispel and Cryptic this way. I'm representing a lot more. Like. We're representing a lot more by playing this as a 1-1 versus doing the whole thing. What we really want to do is we want to Lighthouse again. But the only way to Lighthouse, all we'll have is Dispel back up. And then we could die to Angel. And I told him I was thinking. Hmm. Tapping. Interesting. If he has another piece of permission, we're dead anyway. And that's fine too. I think it was a hard fought game. Nice, he had it all. Okay. Hey, and sometimes they have it all. Yeah, I mean, if he has it all, like, like if he's got that much permission, like, Cryptic dispels leak. Like, that just beats our hand here, you know? Like, no matter what I do, the next couple turns, say no. I want to see what our next draw was. Another possibilities. Wasn't going to get there then. It was really close though. Really hard fought game. Like, whew. It was fun though. Oh, he's only 1 and 2, poor guy. Or no, he's not. Hang on. Daryl's record. Yeah, he's 1 1. It's it's a rough world right now for any sort of blue red or any sort of blue white X control. I I don't think I'd want to be playing what he's playing. I respect it. I understand it. 
but I, I don't like it. I don't like its matchups right now, what, uh, what Daryl was playing. That's not me. That's not a knock at Daryl. That's just a knock at Modern in general. I think it's very tough to be playing something like our deck or even his deck. So I'm trying to say that I'm we're kind of in the same boat, trying to control the format that really can't be controlled. It's hard. It's tough. It's not easy. Um, yeah. Robopod? No, it was good games. No, it was good games. I mean, like, if he just has it all there, like, we have Metal Leaks, too, and Romance, and, like, I could have also had a piece of permission there that would have won that fight, but he happened to have a third piece of permission. It's fine. You don't sweat it. Let's see, so it's 9.30. Um, what do I want to do now? What if you played Bant Control? Tegan Stoney. Mono Thought sees Mardu deck playing Scape Shift. And you got pancaked. Oh man. I still really like the deck though, it's really fun. It is still really fun. Um, we'll make some more tunings though. We'll tune it. Um, what else do I want to change? DKZ, thanks for the follow. We'll make some real changes now. Okay. Alright. We'll make some real changes now. I think three cryptic is the sweet spot. We could get a fourth one in here, but I'm gonna try that. And I might get an electrolyze back in here, I'm not sure. No, I'm gonna get a different land in here. Um, somebody said they wanted me to test Academy Runes. Uh, Academy Ruins, the only synergy Academy Ruins has in the list would just be explosives, would be the highest point. Fox Flip, thanks for that follow. The most synergy that the one of Academy Ruins has in the deck, although we just had so many troubles with the colors. We really need like a filter land. Um, another fetch would be fine. Maybe the Arid Mesa goes in here too. That'd be nine fetches, which feels a little better. There you go. That should help the mana base a lot. Cut a West, cut a Storm, but we added some more filtering and... That, you know, that, that's, that, in you know, yes, that'll hurt consistency, but you know what? The deck is not trying to combo until turn five at the earliest anyway. Run a Cascade? I don't have it. They're so expensive still, not Kami. If you have one, I'd love to borrow it, uh, but they're so expensive. They're just so expensive. Um, this seems better. Just, just little, little te tweaks here and there. Just little itty bitty. Just, we're just kind of tuning the deck just bit by bit. You can even cut a Helix. And run the third mana leak. Like us having another mana, like us having leak there, we would have won that counter war. If you want to run a third leak, leak isn't terrible. Um, I do have another mana leak that matches. You could do that, and then you could, you know, run like additional timelies in the board. More, more timelies. Now another way you could build this is just always, always run the possibility storm and never side into uh, any cre. Like here's another way you can build this sideboard. And I've been thinking about this. Let me open up as a new copy. So I was thinking about this uh, earlier today, kind of a little bit during the stream and after the stream. Another way you could build this is just to never, ever board in the snaps. There are matchups where it's good, but there are other ways to win that matchup, those matchups. Um, one of the ways to do it is just run uh, some number of timelies. Because like, the thing is, is Snapcasters and Spellskites are the creatures that don't work with the combo. So when we board them in, we have to board out the combo. And the combo is one of the strongest things about our deck. It's one of the best things about our deck. Um, so there's an argument there that you're supposed to uh, maybe not even consider the snaps. We're not main decking them anyway. Worst thing is I don't think they'll get reprinted. What's up, son? Hey, what's up, dude? Hello. Hey. So let's see if we take the deck in this direction. I, I already think three Wests is better. So we can run like an Ajani. We get things like Ajani Vengeant. We get things like, uh, we'll run, instead of just one timely, we'll run multiple timely reinforcements. We'll run, um, I really like Celestial. 